So guys, the decision has been made. Welcome to the Dortmund career mode. It is official. The vote ended last night and I'm going to show you the... Uh, actually, no, it ended a couple of hours ago. I'm going to show the results on screen now. 28% of you, which by the way, that's not... That's not as high as I was expecting, but 28% of people wanted me to stay with Gladbach and 72% of you, which is a huge amount of people. Thousands and thousands and thousands of people really wanted me to take on the, the challenge of taking over, over Dortmund and getting them back into the top three, top two, if we can. God, that's going to be so difficult. But before the 28% of you dislike this video because I've gone with Dortmund... Please just put yourself in my shoes. It's very difficult when I'm uploading a career mode and it gets dislikes. People saying they don't like it. It's not very good fun. They're bored of it. Please do something new. So then when I offer something new, I then get dislikes again. It's, it's very difficult with so many subscribers to keep everyone happy. So I'd really appreciate it if you were going to dislike this video. Maybe you could support me anyway. I'd really appreciate it. You don't have to watch the series, but leave a thumbs up. And I would really, really appreciate it. 72% is a lot of people to upset if I decide not to go with them. So the vote is done. We are going with Dortmund. And I'm going to show you the team that we've got right now. And uh, we've got some serious work to do, guys. Oh, and by the way, guys, I haven't deleted the Gladbach career mode. It is still there. So who knows? I may actually return and finish off that career mode. I feel like there's some unfinished business. But so many people weren't enjoying it. I had to change it. I had to do something. And this was the option. So I, I hope you understand, guys. Um, anyway, we need to move on now. This is the team that I've got at Dortmund. And it is a strong team. Don't get me wrong, but they are missing one key player. And I guess you can see already there's no Obama Yang. He has been sold to Man City. Now, originally, when I saw that transfer happen, I was really happy. I was thinking, well, Dortmund will be weaker. And I was right. They're down in, I think, where are we in the league? We'll have a look in a minute. I think it's 11th or maybe 14th. I can't quite remember, but... We've got Ramos up, to, up top instead, which obviously he's, he's no Aubameyang, that's for sure. But they have kept Royce and Mkhitaryan, so we can use them. Gundogan, Weigl and Castro will be my midfield three. Weigl had to come in there, one of my favourite youngsters in the game. And obviously we do have Bender, for example, who can come on. Uh, we've got Dendonka, which is one of the best names in this game for me. A very young Belgium, I believe. He's actually a nice player in this game. He can play anywhere in midfield and he can play at centre-back, which is really nice. So he will he will definitely come in handy. Uh, the likes of Ginter, Subotic as well. The back four, the original back four that would have come with Dortmund when they when you start the career mode. We've got Berkey in goal. So really, it's a strong team just missing a cutting-edge striker, a world-class striker. So we're going to have to get through November and December without a main striker. And then we will have to bring one in. Now, we do have quite a lot of money, so it shouldn't be a problem. I mean, just look at that, guys. 69 million euros to spend. I mean, I could bring in two world-class players with that. And that's 300,000 on the budget, the wage budget as well. So there's, there's no excuse, guys. If I don't sign a really good striker in January or maybe another midfielder, I don't know. If I don't do it and we don't finish in that top four, I've got no excuse. This is, this is going to be a challenge, guys. This really is going to be a challenge. We're down in 13th place behind Hertz of Berlin, Hoffenheim, Hanover, Stuttgart, Augsburg, Cologne, Mainz, Gladbach, Leverkusen, Wolfsburg, Schalke and Bayern. And our next game is up against Schalke and they are looking strong this season. So it's going to be really tough, guys, but I'm really looking forward to it. I've had a lot of tweets of people saying that they really, really cannot wait to see how I get on with Dortmund and how far we can progress because after 11 games, only 12 points. It's just not good enough. So let's get into our first game and hopefully we can get off to a really good start. But guys, before that game against Schalke in the Bundesliga, we're going into the Europa League to play against Rosenborg from Norway. We are top of our Europa League group, so all we need to do is get a few more results and we should be going through and progressing to the knockout stages, which would be great. So this is the Rosenborg team. I mean, I'm not going to lie, guys. I know pretty much nothing about them. There's maybe one or two players that I recognise, but really, I don't know what we're going to get here. But they're not going to be as good as Ajax, let's be real here. So really, our main rivals in this group will be Ajax. I'm hoping we've got a game against them next, which will be a good test. Now, because it's the Europa League, I want to save a couple of key players for the next game. So, slightly weaker lineup. We've gone with Sahin and Weigl and Gundogan in middle. Kagawa on the left. We've got Bender playing at centre-back. Ginter at right-back. It's a slightly weaker team. So, we've got the likes of Royce. Um, yeah, some other key players in there that maybe we could use 
against Schalke instead. And can I just say this as well, guys? I really didn't want to stop the Gladbach career mode. Oh, shit, I've just lost that. He's got injured. Sahin has been injured within three minutes, honestly. But like I was saying, I really didn't want to stop that career mode. But when you run a YouTube channel and you get, you know, dislikes, you get awful comments, it's just, it's horrible. It really is not nice. It feels like everyone's attacking you. So uh, I do apologise if you really wanted me to continue that. And maybe, maybe I will go back. But for now... We are with Dortmund, and this is where my focus is going to be. Can I thread that through? Oh, it would have been such a good bit of play if it worked. Oh, yes, Weigl. Great tackle. Now over to Kagawa. What do we do here? Get the cross in for Ramos, maybe. Go and win that. Oh, it's been a good start so far. Looks like Sahin is still injured, so we might have to take him off, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll take him off. Such a shame. It's so early on in the game. We're going to have to make a change, but we've got players that can come on. We're going to bring on Dendonka, so Castro will be fully fit. For the Schalke game. Got some defending to do right now. Well done Hummels. Well defended now. Win that header. Yes Weigl. Now we get on the break. Here's Gundogan. I need to learn how to say his name properly. Because I know it will piss people off. It's a nice ball out here to Mikatarian, And I think Kagawa is probably best place to get a ball over to him. Oh actually no. It's gone. Oh my god. That was completely the wrong pass. But it's worked anyway. Ramos finishes it with his head. That was just the ultimate counter attack. But honestly I thought Kagawa was in the best position. To receive a pass there but I didn't hit it hard enough it's gone straight to uh, to Ramos instead and it's a really good finish so there you go that's our first goal at Dortmund don't let them score now no 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 oh what a save Berkey five minutes before the break and there is half time guys so we're winning our first game that's good news oh my god look how much space he's got where's Schmelzer honestly that's such bad defending but Weigl's done well there no he hasn't done well at all oh my god I thought Weigl won it back, but that was close. We've got to get a yellow... Oh, my God. Another yellow card. Here's Mikatarian down this right wing. Going to cut inside. Now get the cross in. It's not bad. Kagawa's there. Should have been another goal. That was a good chance, and he's just skied it. Here's Dendonka. I'm going to hit this. Go on. Oh, he got loads of power behind it. Hansen has to make a big save. I think this will be the last attack of the game. It's not a bad ball. The keeper's going to get it, though. Is that going to be it? A 1-0 victory. That is the end of the game. We kick off our campaign with Dortmund with a win and it looks like we're going to qualify from the group stages in the Europa League pretty easily. So it's time to set up my training and I've decided to give Weigl three drills because I want him to be my main man for the future at least. So three drills for him. We've then got one for Derm and one for Ginter. So obviously we're not going to get any growth now, uh, but let's see if they get off to a good start at least. Let's see if we can get some A's. Wow, we get one A and the rest are D's. That is a joke, but that's what we're going to do at first. But in the January transfer window, when we bring in a striker, I'll probably train his, his finishing and things like that straight away. Okay, so now we can see the injury to Sahin. He's going to be out for three weeks. So it's not too bad. He wasn't going to feature in, in most of my games, let's be honest. He's not one of the main players, but he's still a very good player to have in your ranks. He'll be back in three weeks, though. Now, guys, it's the big one. We're going up against huge rivals in Schalke. This, this is a big game. If we don't win this, it's not a good start at all. Because look at that. We are down in 14th. We do have a game in hand, technically, on some of the other clubs. But we, we just cannot drop any points in the league in the next few games. We need to get on a really good run of form, get four or five wins on the bounce. And hopefully then we'll find ourselves back in the top seven, top six. And then put the pressure back onto the guys at the top. But um, this, this is a big game. We, we just have to win it. All I need is a good start. Yes, good tackle. I do not want to concede early on, that's for sure. Here's Gundogan. We'll get that up to Ramos. God, I wish I had a Bamiyang. It would help so much, but we don't have him. We just need to play on. Here's Mkhitaryan. Through for Ramos. Is he offside? I think he's on. He's onside. I want to make sure I score. Please, Royce. Yes. 1-0 in five minutes. What a start. I was sure Ramos was offside, but he's, he's timed the run perfectly. The pass was perfect. A little bit sweaty over to Royce, but I cannot afford to miss chances like this. I need to score goals. It's as simple as that, guys. And Royce, in his first game under me, has scored his first goal. But it's his sixth this season so far in the Bundesliga. That's pretty impressive. Oh, Hummels, that is just brilliant. We've kept it. Get Royce in. Oh, what a pass that is. Absolutely brilliant. Can we return the favour for Ramos? Please finish it. No. No. We need a new striker. We need a new striker. I can't deal with Ramos. That header was the only thing he did in that last game. In this game, he's missed an absolute sitter. You've got to score there. Oh, maybe I'm being too harsh. I don't know. It's because I know we could have Aubameyang, but we don't. And it is, it's just frustrating me. It's eating me inside that I don't have Aubameyang in this team. Oh, 
Here's Royce, a little bit deeper than I'd like him. He's been taken out there. That's surely a yellow card. Unfortunately, we are 41 yards out, so I think, I think I'm going to pass this. And then we're going to have a long shot like this with Mikatarian. Oh, go on. Oh, just for a second. For a second, I got a little bit excited there. But yeah, that wasn't, wasn't really what I was looking for. Not a bad effort, but could be a lot better. We are five minutes into our three minutes added time. If they score here, I'll be fuming. No. I tell you what, the ball just like magnetised to the keeper's hands there. I don't know what happened, but that is half time. If they scored there, I would have been so angry. But nope, we're in at half time. We're 1-0 up. This is great. We just need to stay like this. Maybe get a second goal because we might need one. And just get those vital three points. Pitch check. Up to Mikatarian. Oh, no, he's intercepted it. They're going to get on the break here. I need to be so careful in the second half. Oh, Socrates has won it back. Back up to Mikatarian. This is end-to-end -end stuff right here. Is Mikatarian cutting inside with the Ronaldo chop. And again, inside. Oh, I'm running out of space. Oh, God, this is not what I wanted, but we're working our way around it. Come on, Mikatarian. He's through. That's a penalty. That is a freaking penalty. What more could you need for a penalty? He's taken me out. Oh, no, no, no. I've lost it in a bad position. Maya goes for it. Deflected just over the bar. 20 minutes to go now. It's getting a little bit, you know, squeaky bum time. That's how I'm feeling right now. Um, they've made a change. Oh, oh my God. I thought that was going in. I thought that was in. That would have been terrible, but it's a goal kick. Please, not now. Please, 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 please. Not now. Not now. Not, not now. No, I knew they were going to score. Simple cross in, simple header across goal. I mean, what, what is Schmelzer doing? He just stands there. He doesn't even jump for it. Five minutes to go. We are on ultra attacking. I need to find this goal and it needs to be now. Here's Weigel. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please, please. Someone just make a run. Make a run. Someone. Yes. That's what we needed. Weigel. Yes. Get in there. We've done it. Three minutes to go and it's Weigel. Is this the moment, guys? Is this the moment that finally Dortmund's season turns around with me in charge? I think it could be. It could be the moment that just gives us some momentum. That's that's what we need. Oh, man. Right, okay. I'm not going on ultra attack now. We're going on defensive. I made some good changes, so we should be able to cope for the last few minutes of this game. Oh, God. Have I spoke too soon, though? Oh, thank God for that. The pass was rubbish. What? How did I not get that away? Well done, Socrates. He kept it in. Now let's just get it out, please. Yes! Yes! We've done it. That is such a relief, guys. We've got three points in the league against a huge rival of ours. We were one all with a few minutes to go. We finally got that chance that we needed to get our second goal. And that is just... Oh, oh man, that felt great. This is why I love FIFA. This is why I love career mode. And there you have it, guys. We are now only five points off top six. Our old club Gladbacker are sitting in sixth place. So if we can get just maybe one or two more wins in a row and some of the other teams that are near us drop some points, you will see us just jump up. It's not much of a difference right now, but it's been just one game. We can do this. I'm absolutely certain of it. We can get back into that top four, maybe even top three come the end of the season. If we play like that, we played well, by the way. We just weren't very clinical. We will get points. It's as simple as that. But thank you so much for watching the first episode of the Dortmund career. Once again, I'm sorry if you really enjoyed the Gladbach career mode. It, it might actually return. We might finish off that season at the end of this season. Who knows? Or at the end of this series, I should say. We might be at Dortmund for two years or so. Something like that. But thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like rating. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more episodes. And I will see you in the next one soon.